GP is fun. Bob, I have so much fun things to show you after this meeting. Bring the eye bleach. Yeah. I just found a, a skeleton in a closet. Sorry about that. All good. Um, so I guess in the interest of time, let's start because we have 11 projects to go through. Um, so hi, everyone. Today is 11 June 2024, and this is a sandbox review meeting. So let's just get started. Uh, first up, we have Bank World. So this is a returning project. Um, so to recap, Bank Walls is a secrets um, management solution that already had a plus one from tax security. Uh, and I think Josh also left some notes from tax contributor strategy. So we had placed it on hold earlier because they only had integrations with uh, HashiCorp Vault. Um, but we had then requested them to integrate with other commercial and open source secret management solutions and then reapply. So they have now added integrations with OpenPow and have also made the project less reliant on world concepts. And personally, I think it's ready to move to a board. Uh, but does anyone have any other thoughts or concerns on why this project should not move to a board? Uh, so do y'all think that we should move to a board? Can I see some plus ones? thumbs up if you all agree. Okay, I see one plus one from Ricardo, Josh. Well, um, for some reason, my Zoom's acting up and I'm not able to see everyone's cameras, but I can see emoji reactions. So, okay, so I think we have enough plus ones. Um, Jeefy or Bob, can you all help please move this to a word? Yes, got gotcha. you. Yes. Next up, we have Atlantis. So Atlantis, um, uh, before we move on to that, Chris, do you want to comment on the name change? Yeah, that? I mean, we've done this before when projects get accepted, we kind of do a trademark thing and there's an issue. Like obviously HashiCorp fault versus bank fault, you could argue there could be some confusion, but that's like our uh, trademark counsel to, to decide. So just giving you a heads up. All right. Sounds it's good. not a blocker. Sounds good. Um, okay, so next up we have Atlantis. So Atlantis is a Terraform pull request automation tool where you can basically run Terraform commands on PRs through Atlantis. And then Atlantis then comments back on the PR with the outputs of the commands that you run. Uh, we had, when we, we had discussed this uh, project for Sandbox earlier, and we had recommended that they engage with OpenTofu to understand if it fits with them better as a sub-project. Um, since then, OpenTofu uh, maintainers have commented on this. Let me try to find that. Um, that slow. Um, let's see. So uh, the TL for the OpenTofu project commented here that they would like to keep the project separate uh, primarily because of two reasons. First, that Atlantis intends to serve both Terraform and OpenTofu. Uh, and second, uh, in the OpenTofu project, they're focusing on building the core CLI and they're not planning to build an orchestration layer. Having said this, both projects said that they will continue to collaborate with each other. So with this in mind, um, what do you all think about this project for sandbox inclusion? So did we bring up like a, a potential licensing issue or is this completely unrelated to existing code in the Terraform side? I can't remember if we actually discussed this. Um, I can address that really quickly. The The project has assured us that the um, that they are cleared of licensing issues. Obviously that would have to be validated. Um, however, HashiCorp is fully supportive of this project going forward into the CNCF, not keeping it within HashiCorp. Hope that helps. Yeah, Chris. 
Chris, just want to double check. Do you see any What's tax insurance from uh, I, at, at the beginning, no. So, but you know, we'll we'll do a, a dive once it. Uh, if you accept it, we'll kind of go through and do uh, a deeper dive on it for sure. Got it. So I think this project then looks good to move to a wood, unless anyone has other concerns. Yeah. The concern we had from the last time was uh, that Josh asked the question directly on the ticket. They replied that uh, most users are using it under cloud native environments. So this was the question what, whether it's a good fit for the CNCF or not. But I think uh, the, the response was was quite uh, convincing. The only way that this is unusual at this point is that. Um it is going into the configuration management space um, uh, more directly, um, but it appears to be a configuration management tool that is primarily used for um, container cloud environments. So um, the um, it doesn't look out of bounds to me. Uh, I, I think I agree. Like if we look at the uh, underlying Terraform integration, it's similar to what Crossplane has been doing by converting all the providers to the Mystery Chat as well. It's not far from it. So also these project maintainers are active in tag app delivery. Um, and they're also part of the, if it completely gets spun up the uh, infrastructure lifecycle working group, which is where that project would fit in. Um, so overall, I think we are, we think that this would be, this has a good fit in the CNCF. This is a good fit for the CNCF. And we would want to consider a satin box, right? Okay, sounds good. Uh, any further concerns before we move this to a board? I'm hearing none. Okay, so let's move this to a board. Moving on, um, we have Stacker. So Stacker is a vendor neutral and OCI native uh, container image builder. And this is from the same maintainers as uh, Zot, which is a sandbox project already. And it is an OCI native container registry. Um, from a tag contributor strategy, Josh noted that they have a good contributing guide. They have two companies contributing, but they don't have a written governance yet, which I think is okay for sandbox projects and we can add it later. Um, did anyone take a look at the project and would like to start the discussion? So wh what, do, what do y'all think? Do you think this is a good fit for from like a cloud native perspective. Yeah, it seems like a good project. It seems. Uh, I'm sorry, I had some disturbance and I couldn't make up. A lot of them are maintainers from other CNCF projects too. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Okay. Yeah. Go ahead. I think this is from the maintainers of another sandbox project too, and they seem to be pretty involved. Um, this is related to security, but I don't know if they've presented to tax security. I don't think they've presented to tax security. There is nothing from tax security over here as of now. Um, but what what do folks think? Like from do you think this is a good idea to move to a wood? Do you have concerns? My only feedback would be, it might be good to have them actually um, present to a tag and get a tag recommendation, but I don't, I don't have any immediate concerns on it. So if somebody else has done a review of this project and they feel like they feel positive on it, I'd be, I'd be willing to vote on it. Right off the bat, um, sorry, this is my first time on this call. I'm a new chair for uh, tag security. Um, just right off the Welcome. bat. Hey, yeah, thank you. 
I'll try to be quick. Um, there's just a couple things that we do look at for projects um, that this one would need a little bit more conversation around, such as their security policy is not uh, super uh, in line with what we would expect. Um, so there's just a couple things there that I think would be nice to have them present to tag security and, and open up for dialogue. Ricardo. Uh, yeah, Ricardo. Yeah, sorry. I, uh, I had a question about uh, tag security. Is this where we have similar projects? Uh, like would Co or BuildX fit into tag security or is it runtime or app delivery? Because yeah. this, this seems to be like building OCI images. Yeah, I consider it like 80% tag runtime uh, yeah. type thing. So. So I was just going to suggest that they present to runtime more than security. I, I see where the security aspects come from, but, but it is more on the building deliverables for the runtime. I guess I agree with Chris's point that it's not a requirement that they, that they present to a tag. I was more thinking that it would be good to have the context mm -hmm. that the tag would be able to share with us. It's not yeah. like going to have a chance to do a deep dive on the project. Um, it's part of the vote, voting too. So, and then they don't need to have a security policy, by the way. It's, I would be shocked if sandbox projects come in with fully fleshed out security policy. Yeah, yeah. no, Certainly sorry. I was just raising box. that as like something that we would discuss. There are a couple things that we would discuss if they were to present to us. If you wanted our input on it if you're not looking for our input on it then um the default things that i'm looking at right here that i would discuss with a project um yeah if you're not looking for our input there's no red flags that i'd be like ah you need to no i mean if Sorry. you do if you if you do feel like there is a gap in the project feel free to comment on the project and say you know we'd like to discuss this project in tech security or if you have a summary of those findings that you think are relevant feel free to Put this into the application, but make sure that you note that this is not a blocker, but just something that you would like to share with them. Or so I'm actually wondering, Eddie, um, from our discussions for DTR, um, if this would be a good one to take some of those questions and put them in the comments and see if we can validate the questions and whether you'll get enough information versus having them come present to your tag. It might be a good test case. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, so we, we're, we're walking two lines here now. One, which is like, does this project need a tag security input? And the second one is, if it does, uh, could we do it asynchronously? And I think, yes, we could, totally could do it asynchronously. Um, but the things that I'm, that are just like right off the bat, top of the thing would, I don't, I don't think they're huge issues that uh would be a concern if this isn't a security which i mean i think there's a lot of points to be made about this not being a security project ricardo yeah just to add one more uh i agree with chris that i think it's yeah, they wouldn't need the security part right away it's good for later of course but what I would ask if they would go present at Tech Runtime is because they mentioned on the cloud native overlap, they mentioned Co, which is basically targeting a single programming language, and Chorus, which is more like a tool to handle push pull. But then they also mean, we mentioned Builder and BuildX, which are very different projects, more on handling OCI artifacts. So maybe some clarification on exactly where they position this project would be nice. Uh, Ricardo, do you think that we should move to a board or have them present a tag on time first? Well, I, I would be keen on having them present first, but I'm not against the vote. Uh, it seems like it seems like there's no blockers for a vote. So. Yeah, uh, I, I really don't I'm not hearing any concerns. So Rajas from OCTL for Tag Runtime is on the call. Rajas, can you follow up with them just to ensure that they have, they're on the calendar for a presentation sure. at that time? Yeah, we'll do that, sure. Awesome. Okay, sounds good. Let's move Stacker to a board. Um, Trifi, like, do you, will you be commenting or asking them to 
also present a tag runtime or Rajas, can you maybe take it up after the Git vote opens up? When I was uh, going to fire off the votes, I was going to also note it would be good to talk with tag okay. runtime and then at the chairs. That was my plan. Okay, awesome. That would be perfect. Thank you. No problem. Okay, moving on. Um, we have BPF man. So BPF man is uh, an eBPF program management solution. Uh, solution. It has several Kubernetes related capabilities, including CRDs and the Kubernetes controller, uh, a CSI plugin, and it can be also packaged as an operator for Kubernetes. Um, they plan to integrate with several CNCF projects. Also, Falco and others. Um, also, they've also understood on some more integrations over here. That contributed strategy. Um, Duffy, can you mute yourself? I think there's some background. Actually, I have, feed, I have feedback on this one, so that's why I unmuted it off. Okay. Yeah, so I just wanted to end saying that that contributor strategy noted that they have a good contributing guide and a governance in place already. Um, so Duffy, actually, do you want to just kick it, kick this off? Yeah, I don't. I, I don't believe this project will integrate with Cilium. The initial one of the initial goals of this project was to actually kind of define the way that EBPF programs would be um, handled at runtime in Linux general statement, right? So like think of system D, but for EBPF. And this was, and this has been somewhat inflammatory inside of the EBPF community. It's obviously there are a lot of people who are coming up with their own mechanisms for actually handling the life cycle of EBPF programs. So this is just one example of that. Um, and so I do think this is something that needs to be, we need to be careful around because I want to make sure that we're not um, we're not forwarding a project that has uh, challenges. Yes, it does. That's one of the areas that I feel like needs to be dug in a little bit more with these folks. I have not had time to dig into it with them, but that's the but that's my feedback. Um, Got it. Do you recommend that the project present attack security first? I'm not sure if it's a tag security. It's an interesting one because it's a different role, right? It's not necessarily to do necessary. It's not necessarily to do with security. It's to do with the lifecycle and management of EBPF programs. So it's probably a little closer to runtime, but also like when has runtime dealt with like kernel injection as program? Kernel injection programs. So it's a tough one, you know. <laughs> Um, do, do others have any thoughts on this? Do you all see any concerns or would you also like this project to be presented and attacked first? The one concern I have is all maintainers from Red Hat and this is a project that's being driven effectively by Red Hat. It's a tough one. Like if they were to expand that, that might make that a little bit easier because then they would actually have it would be pushed into a scenario where they understood like a little bit more of the community aspect of it. I'm stuffy. I don't think we have a requirement for uh, diversity of companies for sandbox, although that is recommended. But I agree. That. Uh, yeah, totally. I'm not trying to say it's a requirement. I'm saying yeah. like to solve this problem of the, the bubble, right, that I'm referring to here. I feel like diversity might help break that. But, uh... um, I know that this project, like many, is a uh, applying to sandbox so that they can break out from having only red hat maintainers and that's always a, a good sign a goal um so having that called out um it it also looks like it could be observability or but um 
And we also have other projects that are applying that have single maintainers. Just wondering why uh, BPF man for sandbox, why this one's a concern. Yeah, I Again, really... I'm not trying to push the point that they need more maintainers for multiple companies as a blocker. That's not my concern. My concern is that they're trying to define a standard way by which BPF programs are life cycled. And the way it's coming across in the EPF community is unfortunately not, uh, is, is unfortunately a bit inflammatory because they're coming at it from a perspective of uh, like it, if they are successful in this, then this will be the one true way to do this. And as opposed to the current scenario where like people can do it different ways, this would actually like lock that down. You only have the one way to do it and it would be this way. And that's a challenging, that's a challenging state <laughs> for a project that would be entering sandbox. Now, if they have, if they come at this from a different perspective, if they're saying like, you know what, we want to just push the Kubernetes operator piece and this is a way to handle it. I agree with competition is good, but this isn't competition. This is defining a standard and saying, this is now the standard of all projects that could handle the UPF programs are going to handle it this way, right? This is not competition. This is defining a standard in the way that UPF programs are being life cycled. And that's a, that's a bigger challenge, I think, especially for something coming into in this model. I mean, it, it is a management tool. I've never heard of it being positioned as the one and only management tool. So this is confusing to me. Yes. And that's the challenge, right? Is that like, uh, and this is what I'm trying to highlight. It's like in the EBPF community, the perception of this is very different than the perception that I see here. I mean, you could argue that's something for them to figure out as a sandbox project, right? And if they're not successful, they get booted out or archived, et cetera. So. Kevin, you can't mute. Did you have anything to add? No, sorry. Uh, just that my network is unstable, so I also called in from mobile. All right, no worries. Um, so from this discussion where I think, Duffy, if you have any clarifying questions you'd like to ask, uh, uh, can you ask them on the P issue directly? There haven't been any comments from the tag yet, Chris. Um, so but I, I wanna pause here and ask like, what do other TOC members think do we want this to be presented at a tag because this is not a requirement right now. Uh, or just move to a vote and then have them present later. I know I'm a newer TOC member. Um, it seems like it would be a questionable precedent if we just said, let's move Stacker to a vote or some of the others to a vote before getting tag feedback, but not BPF man. Yeah, I was just, I, I was just typing this out, but I was going to say, if we do do that, we should absolutely explain why. <laughs> because we want to make sure that we are signposting correctly to all of these prospective projects. Okay. And, and my tag question was a curiosity thing, not a, not a blocker. Just curious if any of piped in. Yeah, yeah I, I feel like historically the bar for sandbox has been pretty low. So I think, I mean, I guess I don't see things that are clearly blocking going to a vote, which I think is the bar we used for the last couple of projects. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, I agree that I don't think we need to block BPFN for a vote. Uh, Duffy, if you have any more questions, can you leave them on the issue? And then we can discuss that I think, as we move to a vote. Does that sound good? Mm -hmm. Yep, thank you. Awesome. Um, so let's move this to a one. Moving on, we have Cloud Intel. Um, so Cloud Intel is a project about monitoring attacks on cloud infrastructure. Um, yeah, but it seems to be a single developer project, which personally, I don't think it makes a good fit for a sandbox. Uh, but I also leave it up to other TOC members, like what 
thoughts do you have? Does it has anyone taken a look at this? I think this being a single developer project. Yeah. Yeah, it's a no. Very tiny. Yeah. yeah. I think it looks like it's in early stage. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So looks like we're going to ask, or we're going to close this issue and ask them to reapply if they want to when they have more contributors joining in. Does anyone have concerns with this approach? I'm hearing that. Okay. Uh, so how does this work? Jiffy, do you do this or should I do this? No, uh, in the past, I believe Amy's done it. So we got no problem commenting. Okay, sounds good. Um, next up, moving on. So uh, this application has several projects. It's basically an SDK, it looks like, to allow compliance artifacts to be expressed as code. Um, they also seem to be working pretty closely with tax security. I've seen some comments here, we're gonna find it. There's a lot of stuff here. Um, tax security's compliance working group, but I didn't see any recommendation from tax security yet. Uh, but what are everyone's thoughts here? And Eddie, I don't know if you have more insight into this as well. Yeah, uh, just to, to answer that, we, um, we did have a little bit of difficulty on the fact that um all of the tag members and and leads are happy with the existence of trestle um we are happy with the use of trestle but we had to set some boundaries on the uh close correlation that was happening between trestle and the tag uh, so that created a little bit of distancing to where some of us were like, hey, we <laughs> don't really want to broach that topic right now. Like that, it is not part of the tag. It hasn't been accepted to CNCF. And that made the conversation a little bit awkward. Um, but beyond that, there has not been any negative perception of the project itself. Just just a little bit of difficulty around the social aspect of it. Given the difficulties, do you think we should accept it in the sandbox? I don't know that I have enough insight to say yes, but I definitely wouldn't say don't accept it. Why do other? Sorry, go on. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I was uh, erring on the side of filling the silence. Um, if there's if there's any um, if there's any way to caveat like clearly documenting that this project is not to be considered a subsidiary of Tag Security, like we are we are happy with our com compliance working group using it, um, but we're we're not happy with mapping it as if it's a recommendation from the Tag, and that's been the social aspect. And if there's some way to just like really clearly articulate that. Um, Personally, I haven't been a, in a leadership role long enough to to like tell anybody what to do and say, hey, stop using particular phrasing. But if there is advice on how to approach that, then um, I would have far fewer concerns. Yeah, um, normally, you know, there is no governance requirement for state incoming sandbox projects, right? A lot of them are expected to develop governance in sandbox. Um, I do have a concern about that with this particular project, since this project is focused on compliance. Um, the idea that there isn't a written governance for how their compliance standards are developed is a concern for me. Um, and it feels like it should be expressed to the project as a priority either before or after sandbox acceptance. I'm I'm happy supporting that after the sandboxing if there's guidance around like 
so if if the other chairs were here they'd probably be like texting me and saying shut up this is exactly what we know how to do already um but for the sake of this conversation i don't have that insight if there is some sort of insight around how to navigate that and guide the project um i'd be very happy to participate in in that i think toc secure tax security liaisons can work with you um to help navigate that issue um apart from that or even with considering that what do other toc members think about this project do you want to get this into sandbox do you want a tax security recommendation what are your thoughts Does do people want to move this to a board? Do the people have concerns? Yeah, if, I'm not really hearing any particular concerns. So I agree, GP, that we should move this to a board. Uh, and regarding the points that Eddie brought up. Uh, we can work on them offline. I also have the liaisons in handy over here. So our tax security, uh, we've got Dave, Duffy, and Lynn. I don't think Lynn, Lynn is on the call. Dave or Duffy, can you work with tax security to figure out how to navigate uh, the issue around representation from the tag and so on for this project? Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of a odd one where I think we have to figure out a little bit of the history there too but yeah I mean I think between the three of us we can figure it out awesome okay um looks like we're ready to move this to award okay let's move this to award moving on sorry really quick so trestle was moved to a vote but is there any additional follow-up items for them that was one thing I wasn't 100 percent sure on um, or do I, we not care and once they, assuming they pass, get voted in or rather when the vote ends, then we address any of the feedback? I think let's address after the word ends are in okay. catalyst. We, it looks like a slightly sensitive issue. So maybe we should just not add it on the issue right away. Okay. Uh, that's it offline. I'm going to take it forward. Sorry about that. No, thank you. Um, all right, we on score from tag app delivery. So, score seems to be a specification to define workloads where you can then use a score implementation to translate it to multiple platforms like Helm, Docker Compose, and others. Um, uh, Karina, you've commented on this issue. I, I think you've been involved in their presentations to the platform working group. So do you have any thoughts or recommendation here? So it's a little tricky with it being a specification. They don't have many issues open or PRs. It doesn't look incredibly active. Um, there's only a couple maintainers. So, um, I mean, it looks interesting for the platforms working group. I'm unsure whether it should move to a vote. I It would be good to see more um, activity in this project. Got it. Um, Kathy, you came off me. Did you have anything to add? Oh, okay. Yeah, I think this project, the, I mean, the technical direction is good uh, because it's, you know, simplifies the user's life, right, uh, to specify their workload uh, requirement. Um, but in terms of, you know, activity, uh, it has, you know, the maintainers, they sometimes a sandbox project when we approve have one or two or three maintainers. I see here they have yes. Um, but in terms of activity, yeah, maybe Karina knows better about check that. Um, I'm not sure. I think you know, uh, 
Either way, it's fine with me. If we move to sandbox, maybe um, they can attract more um, contribute. Um, or we can ask them to, you know, to have more activities. But I, I just want to say, I think this is a, a good direction. Uh, There's something we need. Um, Josh, you also looked at it from like a contributor strategy perspective. Uh, before that, I guess Ricardo has a hand yeah. up. Yeah, and they responded. It was what I was looking for clarification on is that their application is a specification, but the project is not set up as an, a specification project. And the answer seems to be that they don't mean specification as in a formal published standard. They mean specification as in their API definition. Um, so it is It is not, ignore that word because it is not actually a specification project that if, if we accepted them, we might ask them to change their wording there um, just to avoid user confusion. Oh, what do you mean? It's not a specific, so they're not like developing. So, so like, like cloud events is a specification project, right? It has a formal two-stage governments governance set up around publishing a specification for how you define an event um, on a container cloud and what contents it's supposed to have. And the only software that cloud events produces is direct implementations of that specification. Um, this is actually a piece of management software that has a defined and published API that they call a specification, but it's not a specification in a software specification sense. Um, it's just the public definition of their API, um, the um, and um, which is a different thing. The um, and and the reason why I brought that up is if this was an actual specification project then I would have urged it on the governance perspective because unlike software projects, I think we should not accept an actual specification project that does not have formal governance because you can't operate a specification without formal governance. Um, but they're not and therefore don't have that restriction. Okay, got it. Um, Ricardo, you, you had your hand up in the middle. Yeah, I, I had just, because uh, this looks very interesting, but it, navigating the repos, but maybe maybe Josh knows more from the presentation. I, I didn't check the recording. But if we look at the specification repo, it lists like 2,000 forex. So it looks like it's, it, it, the actual activity in commits is, is not very high, but but it seems to be quite popular in the interactions from other people. But then if we look at the implementations, for example, the Kubernetes one is exists since 30 days, which is a bit weird. So I don't know if, if they gave more details during the presentation. With all things considered, do you think it would be a good idea for uh, maybe tag app delivery? Okay, you know, maybe, I don't know if you want to take this up, is reach out to them with recommendations on increasing activity and things that they can improve. Uh, because it looks like everyone thinks that this is going in the right direction and maybe an interesting project. So reevaluate certain aspects and then reapply. What do folks think? Do you think this is a good idea? Mm -hmm. I think that the question I have is that they presented to tag up delivery uh, in February, so just a couple of months ago. So we, we should ask them some specific items where we would need more information. and. I think clarification of the support for the different implementations, uh, particularly the Kubernetes one, would be nice. Uh, and also, it's very strange the activity on the spec repo versus the implementations repo. I, would, I was expecting that the implementations would be quite active because that's what people are actually using. Oh, yeah. So they also presented to tag out delivery back in January of 2023. So 
it looks like activity has decreased. Um, if I think if they're asked to present again, they may um, just give up or, and this is, I'm wondering what the history is for projects if, um, if, if they're asked continually to keep presenting to a tag. So they've presented twice, um, could ask more questions on the, you know, the issue itself. Um, and what Chris is saying in chat, maybe this could go forward for a vote. Um, and then if they have to be archived, then they're archived later if Humanitech drops it. But just yeah, I, I, I agree. Like, unless we have specific questions, it doesn't make sense to ask them to present again. It's just strange the way the repos appear in popularity, but it's interesting enough to, to add to Sandbox. Yeah, I also agree. I think we can. I agree with Chris. You know, we can move to, you know, the vote and then let's see how it goes. Okay, so let's move to a word and um, yeah, so we had a few clarifying questions that we want clarified. Um, does any particular TOC member want to take it up to summarize these and ask on the issue? Maybe Is Ricardo. this for score? Is this, was this for score? Yeah, yeah, this is so, for score. So just to clarify, it's asking for clarifications, but we still go for a vote? That is correct. We go for a word. Okay, I, I can take that one. Awesome, thank you. I will just assign it to you. Okay. Um, quadrant. Uh, quad, quadrant. Um, so Quadrant provides a provider agnostic like gateway policies for the gateway API. Um, I think Karina, you were listed as one of the project champions. So do you want to start and provide some thoughts here? So we had them present to tag app delivery because we were having the API discussions. And then they just recently presented to tag network um it doesn't look like there's any blockers let me pull up the tag network uh notes for that might take me a second though but we didn't see any blockers for quadrant Um, one question I had, but it's not a blocker again, is like, looks like they also presented a SIG network in Kubernetes. Um, should this be considered a part of that or move as a sandbox project? I think it's totally fine as sandbox. Uh, but oh. this is not something that's blocked, should be blocked. Uh, we did ask them that question as well whether it'd be better as a sub project. And then it came back that it'd be better as a project under the CNCF because they do plan to expand and it won't just be, um, it, it wasn't a good candidate for SIG network. Do any other members have thoughts in the meanwhile? Kathy, you were saying something? Yeah, I see that you know, I said it's scheduled to be presented to the TAG Health Network on June 13th. So, okay. so maybe we want to wait for that because this is like, uh, you know, uh, kind of related to the, how you route the traffic to the gateway, API gateway. So it's related to the uh, networking side. Related to that, you know, e skill, et cetera. So maybe it's good to, to get the feedback from the tech network. They were uh, supposed to um, present on June 6th. So Kathy's correct, it got moved. Um, I believe from the January or the, the April meeting, 
uh, it was a follow-up to do tag network because of it is a networking project. So they have, I'll say that they have been trying to present to everybody, but. Um, but do we really see any blockers for a vote over here? Because they can also present to TAM network after they're voted in. Uh, did tag app delivery have any concerns, Karina, do you know? No, tag app delivery didn't have any concerns. Okay. I think this could, we could just move this to a board. Uh, the project looks healthy enough. It looks like a good fit for the CNCF. Uh, but does anyone have any concerns to move this to a board? Looks like no. Okay, let's move it. We have three minutes. Let's try to get one more project done if possible. Um, Open Gemini. So Open Gemini is a time series database. Alex Shirkov couldn't attend this meeting, but he wrote that. Uh, I'm just going to read what he said. I don't want to misinterpret anything. So uh, he said that I'm actually particularly excited to see them join as a sandbox project, uh, as they have the they have a very compelling cloud native story. They have the potential to be the next Thanos or support for other observability platforms. Uh, we also don't support Kingmaking, and I think it seems like a solid project. But what thoughts do other TOC members have here? We have two minutes. Does anyone see concerns? Have, have anyone taken a look at this project? Because this looks like a recommendation from tax storage. Take this as you will, but I've heard multiple other tag folks talk about Open Gemini, and they were very positive on this. Awesome. So it looks like it's plus one to move to a wood. Um, so yeah, let's move this to a wood. It looks like we almost moved all projects to a wood this time, which is pretty awesome. Uh, we have one minute left. I don't think we have enough time to cover these two projects and I guess we'll move them. I can be quick on Iterate. And when they presented to tag app delivery, it was clear that they didn't have um, enough contributions and that they should um not Qsion stack but iterate the one right below okay okay um is that this one because i could get do it in one minute <laughs> that uh, <laughs> that they um needed to do some community building and i connected them with the ibm ospo um but you can also save that one if it skips the line Yeah, I, I think it's okay. We were at time, uh, but yeah. Um, does do TOC members have like two more minutes to run over so that we can cover Qsion stack as well? Does anyone have to drop? I'll just wait these two more minutes. Okay. Uh, so regarding iterate, uh, from a tag app delivery perspective, it looks like, uh. Like, do you think you can give a recommendation on how the project can improve and then we can close it? And do you think that they should reapply again? Yeah, re reapply would be. Okay. Uh, can yeah. you come in? Can you get up to come in on the issue? Yep. Uh, iterate will be a no vote. Uh, please reapply in six months when your community has grown and you have a larger maintainer base, something like that. Uh, one of GP or Karina, can you take this up to comment on the issue? Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so Qsion Stack. Uh, Qsion Stack is a stack for building internal developer platforms. It also has several integrations with CNC projects, I think. I plan to. Um, has anyone taken a look at this? Does anyone have opinions? I don't know, Karina, since this is a tag app delivery project if you have thoughts on this um they have not presented to tag app delivery yet so i have not 
I don't, I don't have more information on this project. From my perspective, I find it a little confusing and I think it might help for the project to present a tag app delivery and get a recommendation from the tag. Um, but I also wanna hear what others have to say. Uh, Karina, do you think they should move to tag app delivery? Like, uh, have the tag present in a recommendation? Yes. Okay. And I'm happy to comment on that one too. Sounds good. Okay, I know we're over time. So, does anyone have any last comments before we move with that approach? I don't have a comment for Qtion Stack. I do have a comment uh, once we're done with Qtion Stack. All right. Um, the next, sorry, the next scheduled sandbox review is August 13th. Uh, and we might, I want to talk with Nikita and Emily. We might try and get another sandbox review on the calendar. Uh, somewhere around then just to try and get more of the backlog through before Salt Lake City. Yeah. I think I think everyone would be in agreement that's a good idea. So yeah, and it's all. like the queue looks pretty huge to be covered in one meeting. So. Yeah. Okay everyone, I think we're over time. Thanks for staying back and running through this meeting. We covered all of the sandbox projects. So yay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Thanks, everyone. Thank you all. See you around. Okay. Bye.